organization. And I think we're on the road to doing it now. So you never know, right? That's the problem. You, you have a good weekend of practice, a good day of practice, and you come out tomorrow and one little thing, you know what I mean? So, but I mean, it's good to be back with Mouse, you know what I mean? From where he was when he was 13 years old to where he's at today is a whole different, whole different ting. It's good, man. He's a funny dude though, right? Like I think he always thinks like he's got to prove it to somebody. And you know when you get to that like point of being like an older brother dad role, you don't got to prove shit to me. Like you're better than me and I'm super proud of you. You know what I mean? But his mindset, I've always said this, he's the closest to Kobe Bryant we'll ever see. Miles? Yeah, yeah, we'll go on. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. How you, man? Good. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh. Dun, 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 dun. If you guys just want to walk through, like, what's your guys' game plan? Like, let me hear your guys' thought. Tomorrow, first point, what are we running? No trick question, right? Just let me hear your flow. Because I'll tell you this, one thing, one thing I do know is a 50-50 game plan that everybody believes in is better than a 100% game plan nobody fucking believes in. You know what I mean? So, like, what has worked well for you guys so far? Just found the bounce shot off of the beam into the echo, into the money. Yep. Um, that's there all day. Yeah, that's there all day from the home, right? So you don't have to shoot that anymore coming through this first cut. So you don't have to, you can shoot it off the, off the rip, but most people aren't going to go through the rip, right? If, if they do, I don't know, man. Depending on what this field, I know our pro field, it was tough. Like, we ran it in that two-hour block we just played. We ran it a ton. Because, I mean, there's... you got to step off the back of the side of the box. But if you're going to run somebody into the snake, if somebody's going on the hot, whoever's stepping out with them as the two's first balls need to be right back into that home. So that way, because if, if that guy steps out about where those guys are standing, like into the blind there, and shoots here, you're fucked. You know what I mean? But if your shooter's shooting for them and those first balls are in, you're going to fucking crush that dude. Are you know what I mean? No, I'm talking about just right off the, the fucking go. Ball. Like, th what I'm saying is if that guy steps out into the open, the blind as we call it, yep. and shoots back through here, he's got a decent shot. If he tries to hide in that back center, right. he's never hitting this shit. You know what I mean? But if a team, this is more like next level, but like if a team knows you come right off the box and step out and shoot, if I see whoever your little guy is that's a fucking sprinter heading to the snake, but then again, I feel like you can almost just go out to that corner and around, not on the break. You can insert up there at any point. You know what I mean? So we did learn. I mean, I think everything should be fill the snake, fill the snake, fill the snake. 100%. Part, right? what, so. what bunkers lock this field down? Not a trick question. 50-yard line. 50-yard line is where you go to lock this field down. You can't from the back row, you're not locking this thing down. But if you want to lock this field down, you get in the 50. That 50's tough, right? Because there is bounce shots off those fucking pins into that guy. Yep. But if you want to lock this thing down, it's from the 50s. And I mean... So if he is in the big structure here, yep. we're calling it Cobra. So we started using the Echo, shooting over the top, right? So to keep him on the lower side. And then we used the Dallas, that lay down wing, to shoot over there just to control him in. Yeah, I think you had to have... You watch like and Dynasty... And Dynasty and our set would constantly get a guy out to that corner to make him play square out of that thing. Yeah. So I'm just saying, you watch Archie's constantly in that corner. He's not really doing much from there. But what that does is if you're in that 50, anybody that has that outside leverage, is there a guy heads up? No. Now I'm working in, everything's inside. But when there's that guy there, you can catch him. Plus there is a crack between that little cake and there. It's not much of one, but you just fucking keep slamming paint in there. Again, you're not gonna win from the corner, but you're gonna, yeah, yeah, buddy. Uh, but I, so we played the Hurricanes Saturday, Sunday down in Louisiana, and I think the first day was 29 to 6 or something. Like, we yep. fucking molested them. The six points they won is because they had three bodies alive over here, and we probably lost one or two. Because I think this field, there's this going to be a point you game on, you lose two or three bodies. Yep. Like, don't come in fucking motherfucking each other, breaking that. Because there's just going to be those first five balls hit people, both sides of the field. You know what I mean? But short of that, like we had a big talk on the team, like, well, maybe if we go three this way and two this way, we can win more. So we came out on Sunday and they tried it. And I, I'm just sitting there like, y'all done doing this dumb shit yet? Because three this way definitely works. I think if you get two guys down in there, 
right? Usually there's one on the outside and then somebody on the inside, the Mini W, watching the inside of that lane. Third guy's got to be here, eyes up. Because the second that guy loses his eyes, even if you fill into one of these door or whatever, you're just fucking head down, you know what I mean? Then you're playing whack-a-mole. Even with the extra load up on this side, I think this guy up, eyes up, communicating across. Plus from here, if the game breaks down, you have a look back across. So if somebody throws a fucking Hail Mary through the inside of the Doritos, this runs down the field. Hopefully you catch him slipping, you know what I mean? You got the second cut. Yeah. Here. Yeah, I mean, just depend. And there's, you know, another one I, I believe with this field is that we could have the greatest fucking plan, right? Like, we're fighters. I'm bigger than you. I'm more of a this. I'm more of a that. The problem is my best game plan don't mean shit when you fucking smack me in the face once. And what I mean by that is we could go three this way, two here, whatever we're doing. But the problem is on the other side, if they put a good game plan together, all of a sudden shit's going to turn. You know what I mean? You just can't stop it. Right, because center line, you have a bit of a shot from that back center and a tiny shot from that fucking door. We call it the Xbox. But really, if Troy's outside of me and I'm pumping on him, I got you. But the second I do, if my gun drops to load and he puts a string on me, I'm fucking. And the second you lose that vision, you got to assume he's in your Dorito three or four. You know what I mean? A couple of these fields had a bounce shot from the 50 off of the second wing into that Dorito three, the second big where those guys are standing right now. Yep. Does that have it? Let's go take a look at it. So I know one other thing that we did was, if say if someone was in that D2, you push the D3 if that snake's in there because you can hide. And then you can throw the paint over the top. Yeah, it's different on this one. Ours was a little bit different on that practice field. Because you can bounce off of that into where those guys are, but from here you can't see it. So did you have Jeez. him playing mostly around the edge? Or 100%. You, yeah. 100%. So, I mean, that's the thing. Because like, the question is caught. where you get in here, yep. right? And this is not a trick question. Who's your snake side guys? So, yep, one, totally. You're in two, here. Where, and there's not a trick question. Yep. Where are they at? Usually in the money, which is right there in the little temple. Totally. The echo for sure. Behind it, totally. The home, probably. Yeah. The home. But we already know that our home side guy can bounce a ball off of that fucking into there. We also know our echo, we call it the money, the can guy can go heads up with him and flatten him out. The problem you do have here is no matter how much support you have behind you, this guy has got to look down a fucking hallway by himself, right? Like you come in here and I'm in that fucking can, boy, my butthole's puckered up and I'm fucking yeah. tight. Cause, but you've got to look around here. So at that point, you look around, whether you make that shot, which is probably why you should have been doing all those weekends of snap shooting drills, because the target's there. Target's there all fucking day. Once you do that, you know they're gonna start zeroing in on here and here. There's nothing wrong with backing up into the 50 part of it, right? And then what do we got on the other side of the field? Dorito two, Dorito three, where are the blind shots? A lot of times, like in our set that we played in practice right now, our inside guy would come in behind him, our second guy, and look into their we call yeah, it the snake two highway. into him yeah, the, just to make sure that guy doesn't fucking come down and put two in your ass and right. fucking scoot into your side it's of the a weird snake. protection it is a but weird protection true, right? super counter punch so we did see you'd go from here i think haber was playing it when we played them at camp you'd go back here and then totally can do it through. so i think totally that was it. another way to kind of play the snake but i think you just keep feeding right you know, it's just the I same think thing. Three over, and over, and over here is going to win a whole lot more than three over there will. Right. And no, but even all the video kind tape of, from today. Same thing as Texas. It's an island over there at a bit. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, though. It might be game on. You might double yep. the left side and have that side blown out where you can really get that outside leverage. But I think once you get to these 50s or Dorito three, the center brick works. Like we, we watched like X Factor playing it takes. We play them tomorrow. Billy's going up to that center brick. I just didn't see a lot of production out of there. And it's. I think how you got to look at that is, yeah, on the break, we shot two of them motherfuckers. It's three on five. Of course, any of us could look good in the center 50 when one side's dead. But when there's five alive in there, it's just tough because those pins, you're bouncing shit off of there. Yep. Yeah. Were you sending your, the little lay down juice box, snake side or D side? For so the first at cut? practice with the Hurricanes, Saturday, again, they, everybody was in their camp Dorito side. Right. Sunday, they switched it up because there was a little bit of a shot this way, but I don't think there's much on our field there's not much of a shot from their snake side yeah. the only thing we saw at practice was 
if the guy tries to bump across here, that guy shooting here can hit him. The juice box through here can hit him. Yep, and then the home can also pelt this gap, right? Yeah, like, but he doesn't have a great, I mean, if yeah, you look so at it, it's try, pretty it's fucking tight. Each field, so like it's the that one, one or the fucking tower that guy in the orange shirt's yeah. in, yep. shooting down through here, but ultimately so that juice box you squish, can yeah. hit him, because this, the trajectory of any ball falling over that fucking beam's gonna right hit this there. guy. So yeah. I think the way I would look at it for all, everybody on the field, man, if I'm in a spot like that, if you're there here or there Dorito side, it's just every fucking second I keep them from advancing. I keep my guys a chance to get the edge on them and push. You know what I mean? I think when we look at this layout from Texas, though, Texas, we had one nothing, 2-1, like super low score. There's no fucking way. Yeah. Unless you get into a one-on-one -on -one and you're like, yo, yo, let's just. There's no fucking way. I'm right. There's too many fucking bunkers. Yep. There's no corner out there. You know what I mean? You can, you're yeah, going to rumble and bumble. Right? Yeah. I think it's but what you got to do yeah. is just not lose bodies. One thing I do. Like for us, we have a call of Oreo on diesel, which is two in the home. Aftermath was cheeseburger, two in the home. I think if you can identify that there's two in the home back there, probably split, right? Shooting both yeah, ways. Yeah. You, you know, the outside guy, Dorito says, probably coming up to the juice box. He may dive down to that Dorito, but just think about it. If there's two in the fucking center, where are the rest of them out? There's definitely two coming to the snake side. There's only yeah. one Dorito side. So if you can step out and fucking smoke that runner that they have on the outside, you can turn the whole tide of that game. Cause now we've all been in the double home. I got to fill out. And as I'm filling out, I see homies fucking walking off the field. And I know there's a fucking tidal wave of paint about to come in. And I think structurally, if you look at just a quality control point of view, if a team has got a guy in the back center and in the juice box and two this way and one that way, I mean, call it. Like you shoot that outside Dorito guy, they're fucked. Cause you got two in the center yep. or you shoot one of their snake guys. They're fucked. Cause they still got two in the center. Kind of reminds me of the wall, you know what I mean? You get a guy in there, okay, everybody relax. There's a guy in the fucking wall looking left, so let's go right or whichever side it was and put it together, you know what I mean? I also just think on this field in general, you have to be alive at the end. You can't be walking off in fucking pairs. Yep, and, and the it, same it, thing it I tell the diesel guys, I tell you guys, man, you might have one of those days where you just don't shoot people. You're in the two roll, you're holding, and you just don't see balls hitting fucking meat, you know what I mean? But you know how quickly that can change in paintball. Where you go from not shooting shit to fucking bink, 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 three balls, three dead, let's go. And the yellow brick road opens back up and we go play it. But if you're not alive to help your guys out, you're, in, yeah, you're no fucking good. your team up. You know what I mean? Like dying out of those back spots. Like we learned, yeah, you totally. learned like it just gets into the trade battle and we lose the trade battle. I think battle. you guys call it the echo. We call it the money that can. Yep. If you're there on the break watching outside and you have eyes up and you're fucking sure there's nobody in here that's one thing but the second you put your eyes down or look the other way you have to assume this is hot on the outside you cannot get shot tomorrow out of that fucking echo from the 50 and do the polish salute 2 a.m you're yeah. going to get a snack from the fridge guess what snake's still fucking hot yeah. go ahead brother question for you are you guys playing that guy in the echo inside at all it's fuck high, no he always heads up correct always heads up always no matter off the break yeah okay. No shots. Because what you're shooting back across at, yeah. yeah. You no, know, you're shooting back at the at the Dorito side. But yep. if you're this, still from there or from the home, I really feel you're on a counter punch. Like right, you're just you're trying to stop the guy. But if somebody's got some big dick energy going down that side of the field, you really think you're going to stop him? Really though. Problem also you run into is if you go into the can or the front one. What do you guys call the front one? The money. The money. The money. We call it the God. But if you go into either of those playing inside, the guy can go to that first fucking wedge and sh fucking destroy you on the inside. Yes, yeah, so we have an 88 call yeah. for that. We call it the Dallas. And then you'd use the echo. Yeah. Get yeah. that guy out. Right. And that's and something then, that, not to cut you off. That's yep. something in the box. If you watch. Yeah. They're going to the can and they're fucking looking inside again or they're doubling the can. Then you kind of know on the dial up. We get one guy into there quick. Come up, take yep. the shot, whether it's there or not. Put balls on target and fucking dip. You know yep. what I mean? Because the longer you stay in that one, guy gets here, he's fucking with you. Guy gets here, he's fucking with you. Guy gets to your side, he's fucking with you. Just not at, like where that guy with the hat is. It's just not a great place to be mid-game. You know what I mean? Because you don't know. The second you lose eyes or comms on this, you just assume they're on our, our end of the fucking snake. You cannot be on a fucking highlight reel getting laminated from this fucking dude. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's just too big. If we were back home and it was a practice weekend and we walked out here for the first time, we saw some shit like this, we'd be like, well, about eight of us coming in here. You know what I mean? Like everybody's coming in here.
Yes, sir. I just wanted to clarify. So you said coming out to the, the echo, our fans. Mm -hmm. If we're going snake off break, we should come out, put, put fans back at the home. I would absolutely. The trailer, right? Again, Ryan and I are running it. Let's just say Ryan's running it, right? I'm the second guy out with him. I want to be putting my balls in there because, again, if the home guy dips and gets high, tight to that fucking temple, he doesn't have much of a shot on you. But if he's a foot or two outside of it, which he has a better, or there's a clear fucking lane to it, you know what I mean? Or three or four feet out. In fact, we had guys like Spica, Mouse, J-Rab dancing out in the open, right? Just no, Don't get me wrong. Once they started to zero in on that shit, those yeah. dudes were getting hit 15 fucking times real quick. You know what I mean? But you just don't know. Game starts, brr, and everybody tilts in, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think if, and that's what's something you're going to see in the box. If you're not on the line, the five out, if you're six, seven, eight, if you're, it's just not your point, watch where that back center package is because that is so fucking important. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think you have to played. do that some, yeah. right? Because if you're the outside Dorito guy and you're constantly looking in, there's fucking nobody there, you're just fucking fifth gear punching right. it down. If, you know, here, 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 you're having to guess, just like shooters, right? If we know they never go to the corner, they only run snake, we're going to zero our guns down. But if it's corner, snake, God, you, keep you make somebody it. think, you know what yeah. I mean? But also, I think, I think at the end of the game, that's a spot that, like, way back in the day, as we all call it, the Russian Legion, when there was silent coach, we'd yell some strike a dizzle dizzle fucking call, and that dude would just run sideways into a bunker. And you're like, why are you you're running to your death? Because he knows the longer we stay in that at the end of the game. We actually saw a point earlier today. Infamous was playing Impact, three on three. And uh, Infamous had the guy where the guy in the black shirt, the juice box, as you call it, one on the snake side, one on the Dorito side. Inf Infamous did. Impact had two snake, one Dorito. And I literally said, first dude's going to come down, wreck the dude, trade a body, fucking two on two. Fuzzy slides right down to the 50, comes up, fucking blows this dude's fucking head off, wins the game. That's just recognizing, which I think is a drill back home, like with the academy kids and every, all of everybody in Southern California that wants my two cents. Playing like this field layout, if it was me on like day one of practice, saying when you guys get your next layout, if there's a back center, Put a guy in the back center and the first bunker either side, which is the big Dorito and the fucking can. Start mirrored up every time and just recognize. And it's not a trick question. Who moves first out of there? Does the can go to the snake? Totally cool. Then who else moves? Where does the back center go? Does the back center slide with him? You're not wrong. But do you recognize the imbalance 2-1 this way? And then what do we do? Do we go match two or do we go two to the one, right? Troy, you're out on that fucking can. Stay the fuck alive out there. You're on an island. Hey, Ryan, me and you are two on one on this Dorito guy. One of us come down and just trade with that motherfucker. Because yep. we've already said there's two on the snake side, one on the Dorito. If we trade a body for a body and we have a two on two with outside leverage, odds of probability we should win more than we lose, right? But I think that's a really important one for young teams to recognize. Just the imbalance. Like I'm saying, the juice box isn't bad, but you don't want to get to the end of the game with the fucking juice box and the home hot. Because that's, for me, I cut a field into five gaps. Outside the snake, the wire's one. Outside Dorito is the five. Dead center gap of the field is three. And the insides are the two and the four, right? The inside, the twos are watching over from the two and the four cut. If you have two bodies in the three gap, which is that juice box, the fucking monster, the big wall, or the back center, two there. Man, you get that outside leverage. Man, you should cool. never lose that point. Never, ever. Right? But then again, what you don't want to do is have that leverage, get the killer two, and start throwing fucking bodies away. I think another one, as you get deeper into the game, I think your point's two minutes. You get down to that last 30 seconds, where are we going to win from? I think we recognize orange shirt over there, yep. the outside oh, of the brick, for sure. So that 300 can also make the wrap, the three totally. three. Where's your third body at? Third you body better have at, a fucking layer of eyes up, my friend. So you're either here not, or, or that can over there. Yeah. There's two, right? But I'm just echo, saying, when yeah. you guys, it's going to happen tomorrow. Best fucking intentions are going to go right out the fucking window, and you're going to come to a three-on-three -three tomorrow. If you get into these spots, the only downside to it is if you have one here, and we're saying two there, yep. and you see the two shift this way, we have to go, which then would mean one on that side. If he's in that can or wide, you have to go down into their snake two, right, their side of it, and go cross field on these guys, because you will pick them up coming down the field from there. Yep. Now, if we have four bodies, then cool. One in the Dorito, one in the tower, one in the can. If we have five bodies, 
those spots with another one in the snake watching inside so the guy doesn't do the fucking gangster fucking crawl up, yep. shoot the guy in the 50 in the ass and come on down, you know what I mean? So say you did have to hold on this field, you had two people, you have four. Bro, I mean, what's, it's the score, gonna be a... what's the score of the game? Right, exactly. I'll so give it's you not that. a trick question, yep. what's no, the no, score no. of the game? Say, say you're still up a point, right? Okay. And you have to let that clock burn as much as but you how can. how did we get up What are the two? So, By playing defense or offense? Offense, okay, right. So why are we going away from it? Say, say you only have Best a minute. Best defense. Yeah, I'm still going to go fuck still. you up in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, my thing is. The problem is the when two. you really get to that mindset where we change from like. Right. Bang, bro, bang, we're bang, fighting. Ball, yeah. And I don't care how much big. I'm going to feel you. You're going to feel me and I'm going to feel you. But like, we and a lot of teams do this, right? We recognize on this field with no anchor out here. And that fucking corner is fucking Horrendous. minuscule. Yeah. You can't hold on this. One dude forces his way. We did it with the Hurricanes. They had a situation, which is something to learn in practice. They said, okay, it's 4-2. You're up. Lone Wolf is up 4-2 over Diesel. We have five minutes in the match. Let's play. And even when we... We still push, right? We yeah. still... We yeah. have to. Because what are we going to do? Go to the fucking corner. Go to the outside snake. We're already giving you... Go ahead, Joy. You're in the 50 snake against me. And now I got to fucking snap you out of there. We already identified where do we lock this field down from? The 50. So I think they thought we were really gonna sit on our heels and it's like, nah, dog, yeah. we got to swing. I'm up four to two on you. How did I get there? By being a bitch? No, by swinging. So if I, again, when you feel the ball hit, you get the fuck off the field. You know what I mean? I just don't know on this field because you cross up, you lock up, you know they're coming through that center on you. And they're probably coming to big tower to your tower, right? That's where I would go. Because again, I'm looking for Troy and that snake and I'm putting a bunker between me and you so you can't see me, right? Yeah. But it's just tough. I don't, I don't think you can hold on this field. They pushed on yeah. us, we pushed on them, and our push kept winning. Yeah. But I'll tell you, that outside snake, his first ball cannot be off. If it is off, you're gonna have a hard time. 